Hello, everybody, Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overray Hills, and welcome to the top pop of the morning. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this old mess. Hey, yo, No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad. Right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Welcome back, everyone, and good morning. It is Friday. It's the end of the week. Finally, is here. We worked so hard all week. Today is the day that we go crazy. Not only that, it's BravoCon weekend. So to all of my friends who are out there in New York, I hope you have the time of your life because BravoCon is the event of the year, all right? So, I think it is time to talk about pop culture and everything that is going on on this pop culture street. So, let's just dive in with item number one because, girl, Kanye West, he keeps doing the most and this whole scandal with the anti-Semitic uh, comments, it just kept going and going and going. And the worst part is he isn't letting it go. Meaning that on another interview with Page Six, he he didn't apologize. He actually thinks that he is okay. I mean, girl, this guy blows my mind. So, speaking to Page Six as he left the screening of Candace Owens' new documentary on Wednesday night, Kanye West addressed all of the brands that have dropped him since his most recent social media rants, including Adidas and J.P. Morgan Chase. Hey, if you call somebody out for bad business, that means that you are being anti-Semitic. I feel happy to have crossed the line of that idea so we can speak openly about things like getting canceled by a bank. He told our photographers before calling himself the richest black man in America history. Kanye West continued talking about JP Morgan Chase specifically, but it was interrupted when a truck drove by. He decided to speak at a different time. Earlier today, Owens herself revealed that J.P. Morgan Chase had given Kanye West until November to find a new banking institution to hold his multi-billion dollar company, Yeezy. I was told there, has, there was no official reason given, but they sent this letter as well to confirm that he has until late November to find another place for the Yeezy empire to bank. The Twitter, along with a photo of the notice, she tweeted with a photo, okay? The letter read, Dear Yi, we are sending this letter to confirm our recent discussion with that GP Morgan Chase Bank has decided to end its banking relations with GCLLC and its affiliated entities. JP Morgan shares dropping West comes after he made several anti-Semitic comments over the weekend. Girl, I have been telling you all of, I mean, he is getting canceled. And not like the, 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 the normal cancel that you can come back like in a month. No, he is literally getting canceled. And you know what? He deserved it because his comments were openly disgusting. And the fact that he's not even willing to apologize, girl, I mean, I can't. Now, let's move on into item number two because Brad Pitt is talking about how was he able to move on from the break heart of, of you know, divorcing Angelina Jolie. Brad Pitt felt inspired to create art following his misery feel split from ex-wife Angelina Jolie. This is report by page six. Uh, Brad Pitt told the Financial Times on Wednesday that when he was newly separated, he turned to two of his friends, Australian singer Nick Cave and British artist Thomas Hausiago, for companionship since they have been dealing with their own issues. He says, our mutual misery became comic. 
and out of this misery came a flame of joy in my life. I wanted always to be a sculptor. I always wanted to try it. It was all our work and it was all about self-reflection. I was looking at my own life and really concentrating on owning my own shed, where I was complicit in failures in my relationships, where have, where have I misstepped? For me, it was born out of ownership of what I call a radical inventory of self, getting really brutally honest with me and taking account of those I may have hurt. So... We know that uh, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are still going af after each other. You know, Angelina Jolie apparently is extremely like, hurt by some of Brad Pitt's actions. And I mean, I don't know, like now he's saying that he was heartbroken. Like, what do you think is the truth about their relationship and how actually it ended? All right, let's move on into item number three because X real housewife of Atlanta, Cindy Bailey, as I have been reported, officially divorced or officially filed for divorce for, from her husband, uh, Mike Hill, after two years of marriage. Now, there has been a lot of speculation about what really went down during this divorce, okay? Because many people are, you know, saying that Maybe it was infidelity. This guy openly said on the show that he was a chronic cheater and that he has cheated on every single relationship that he has been before. So, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, maybe it's about the same. Now, Cindy Bailey has come forward herself and she said, there was no infidelity to my knowledge. Mike never had sex with another woman during our marriage. At the end of the day, it just came down to a number of things. And I respect Mike and respect our marriage too much to go into the details of those things. But it was nothing scandalous. We just outgrew each other. After two years, girl? Okay. Uh, she continues saying nothing. It was, it was not a tragic ending for the pair. Okay. Uh, once we were able to be with each other on a more consistent basis and we started really, really getting to know each other, we realized we weren't as compatible as we thought we were. So we did something about it, simple as that. Uh, she says that she thinks that she made the right decision and that their divorce was a sign of how much they love and respect each other. We were brave enough and loved one another enough to make that choice together. The beauty of the whole situation is Mike and I will learn from our previous relationships. Well, I mean, yeah, I do agree that if a relationship is not for you, if a marriage is not for you, girl, leave. Okay, that whole thing of like, we're going to be together till the day we die and like we're going to suffer together and sacrifice together. You know, it only, it only works if both parts really, really are into this relationship. But if only one part wants everything to work out and the other one already check out, girl, no matter how much time or therapy or money or whatever you're going to spend, that's just not going to resolve, okay? So just get a divorce. There are a thousand, like billions of men out there. Just find another one, you know? So that, and that's my advice to everyone, okay? Stop being one of those who are like, oh, we need to be together, we need to work this out no matter what, or we need to stay together because of the kids. No, no, you need to have love, you need to have respect, and overall, you need to have trust if you want that relationship to work. Otherwise, bang, you know? All right, let's move on into item number four because Britney Spears has deleted her Instagram again. Now, this is becoming like a recurring theme. I, I feel that because Britney is just learning how social media works, she has literally just been using social media by herself from, you know, the, just the end of the conservatorship. Um, she's, that's why you, you see all the mess that is con continually happening on her, on her Instagram. But to me, that mess is a beauty because it's literally herself being real and being her, you know? And I feel that sometimes it just get a little bit overwhelming for her, you know? And that's why she's like, you know, I'm just gonna delete this shit. Uh, but then, as usual, she come back after a couple days and, you know, she just need like kind of like a break. And maybe she doesn't know that you can just sign out <laughs> and not, you know, delete the whole thing. So if someone can just teach her. 
that would be better. But yeah, so she deleted again. She did a couple of like um, big posts, you know, dragging her mom. The other day she says, why, do you, why did you and the family go along with it and treat me like an effing dog? uh then she let me see mm, yeah then in another one she said what makes you so good damn special what makes your other daughter so good damn special that you treat me less than an effing dog uh Brittany also claimed that jamie always told me i was fat so i never felt pretty or good enough uh and another one says the first time I ever got slapped was one night Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan dropped me off at my beach house with my babies. Uh, my mother was watching Jaden and Preston. Yes, I parted till like 4 a.m. and my mother was pissed. I walk in, she looked at me and she hit me so hard that I will never forget it. Girl, I mean, it's just like the abuse. It's the abuse for me, okay? So anyways... Let's see if Britney Spears is going to return to the Instagram anytime soon. So anyways, guys, that's, the, that's it. That's the top pop of the morning. So let me know in the comments below what did you think about every single one of these items. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.